This is Lowell with Crobata Breeder and CrabMatch.com. Short video, very basic video. If you're already breeding, you can probably just skip this. Uh, simple formula to know if you should breed two times or three times. Uh, note, this assumes the price. Um, prices are the same in five days. Uh, and 99% of the time, they won't be, okay? Uh, it'll be slightly higher or slightly lower. In some cases, it might jump up by 10,000 TUS or even drop by that much. So your cost of breed, uh, this is starting with virgins, uh, your first time, um, 8,500 total. Okay, that's for each, uh, counting each side. Second time, 17,000. Third time, 25,500 TUS. Uh, so the total for three eggs is 51,000. You would then divide that by three, it comes out to 17,000 per egg. So as long as the virgins um, sell for more than 17,000 per egg, then it makes sense to continue forward. Uh, total for two eggs, and that's one way to calculate that. I'll show you another one in a minute. Two eggs is 25,500 divided by two, it comes out to 12,750 per egg. So quite a bit less if you only do two on a per egg basis, which is the way to look at it. I don't ever think, oh no, this third one's 25. I always think, okay, my average for all three of these eggs is 17. So you can make more breeding twice, but you won't expand as fast or as large. And that's what you want to ask yourself. Are you trying to get to, you know, $900 per day passive income from mining or from the tavern? Or are you trying to get to $3,000 per day? So that's going to determine how long it's going to take you, depending on your starting amount, depending on your risk tolerance, and of course, depending if you breed consistently twice or three times. Uh, so the answer here, besides looking at the virgin prices, which I talked about earlier, which is a good benchmark, is to breed that second time or that third time when, uh, when, the, when the used one, that's called the thir th used three bread, used two bread, when it can be sold for more than 12750 or 17000 which by the way, historically has been about 99% of the time. I started off doing just pure bulks. I'm now in four different classes. It is March the 14th. And one time uh, that I can remember one day uh, when the bulks were, were at their lowest point, you know, you, you really, well, not one day, maybe two or three days. It was, it was a very short period of time where those two, three bulks, you know, were, were um, uh, well, the three bulks always sell for less if they've been bred three times, but the two bulks were less than that, that amount. So you can pull those up and you can see, and that just means you can sell and have more money for breeding. But the money-making benchmark is the first one I talked about, which is, are the virgins selling for more than that amount? And why did I keep breeding bulks um, when it was down, even though I expanded to other classes and sometimes I only bred once? which your cost is only 8,500 per egg, even lower. The reason I kept breeding uh, bulks, well, two reasons. One, because I believe in the ecosystem. These guys solved all the issues Axie had, which is great. Um, but the, the second one is because of the virgin prices. The virgin prices were, for virgin pure, pure bulks were still selling for a good amount of money. So it just makes sense to still do it anyway, even, even when the market was down. And now the market's pulled back up. And we're pretty, we're pretty uncorrelated to the Bitcoin market, which is great. And that's just the way this NFT market works. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to give you a little basic video for some of you newbies. Uh, join my free Discord and um, you'll learn a whole lot. Thanks.